Everybody, Miss Beck here, and we are starting a new unit today about our five senses. When we have five fingers, can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five. Today, we're going to explore how we use our senses to help us understand the world around us. We're going to identify those senses, and we're going to identify them with the part of the body that helps us observe that sense. We're gonna learn some vocabulary words, so here we go. First word is, um, can everybody say amazing? The word amazing means surprisingly good. It was amazing when the magician made a coin disappear right in front of my eyes. Amazing. The next word is harm. Harm is an injury to the body. For example, my baby sister always pulls my hair, but I know she doesn't mean to harm me. Sight. Sight is the act of seeing things with your eyes. Sight is my favorite sense because I love seeing all the different colors around me. Touch. Touch means to fill with your skin. I can't wait to touch the lamb's soft wool at the petting zoo. All right, you guys ready? So I've got some pictures for you that I'm gonna share on our screen. And these are some things that will be really, really great to identify for our senses. So let's say share screen, screen, share. All right, the first one here is our fragrant flowers. That means flowers that smell really good, okay? So I know you can't actually smell them, but imagine, use your imagination. Take a big sniff of those flowers. How do they smell? Delightful. Do they smell sweet? They smell like. Um, when we do a smell test, we wave the smell towards us. Smell. Okay, so there's some fragrant flowers. Okay, fragrant flowers. Hit the road. Oranges. Do oranges have a smell? Yeah, they have a citrus smell, don't they? How do they taste? Yeah, they have a distinct taste. You can always taste the, the taste of an orange, kind of tart, right? Um, how do they feel when you feel them? Kind of bumpy? Does it make a sound when you move it, an orange? No, not really. It doesn't really make a sound. Okay, let's see what else. What color is that orange? Sight and see it. Yeah, it's orange. Very good. So there's my fragrant flowers. Here's my oranges. Bell. The sense of um, what do you think we're exploring with the bell? That's right. We can hear. We can hear. What kind of sound does the bell make? Ring, ring, ring. We can also look at the bell, can't we? All these bells have lots of different colors. Can we smell the bell? No, not really. We can see it, we can hear it. Can we taste it? No, I hope not. Can we touch it? Yeah, we can actually touch it. We can make it ring, couldn't we? There's our bell. Ooh, a rattle. Who uses rattles? That's right, babies or toddlers. What sense do you think we use for the rattle? Yeah, we hear it and we see it. That's why the babies really like it, those bright, colorful colors. We feel it, we touch it. Babies even taste it. They even put it in their mouth. It's okay for babies to do that. So we have five senses and we used all of them when we were talking about these pictures. Sight, hearing, 
smell, taste, and touch. When we looked at the different pictures, we were able to identify them by using our five senses. And all of our five senses work together to help us understand the world that is all around us. So today we're gonna to hear a poem called, My Five Senses Are Amazing. Let me get my photo for you. My five senses are amazing. They help me do so much. My eyes can see, my ears can hear, my senses are amazing. My skin and hands can touch. My senses are amazing. They make me happy too. My tongue can taste the food I eat. My nose can smell perfume. My senses are amazing. They keep me safe from harm. My nose smells smoke. My skin feels heat. My ears hear fire alarms. My senses are amazing. And now you know them well. Let's say them all together now. Sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. Very good. My senses are amazing. Amazing means surprisingly good. They help me do so much. My eyes can see, my ears can hear, my skin and hands can touch. To touch means to feel something with your skin. My senses are amazing. They make me happy too. My tongue can taste the food I eat. To taste means to discover the flavors with your tongue. My nose can smell perfume. To smell means to smell those odors with your nose. When we smell the flowers with our nose, we sure did. My senses are amazing. They keep me safe from harm. Harm was that injury to my body. My nose smells smoke. My skin feels heat. My ears hear fire alarms. My senses are amazing, and now you know them well. Let's say them all together now. Sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. Very good. All right, so what are our five senses? Let's name them and point. Sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. Very good. All right. I'm going to hold one up and I want to see if you know what it is. Ready? Doo -doo -doo. Sight. Got it. This body part arm is my eyes. I use my eyes to see. These are my eyes. I use my eyes to see. You say it. These are my eyes. I use my eyes to see. What is it? Ear. This is my ear. I use my ear to hear. You say it. This is my ear. I use my ear to hear. Good job. Ooh. Nose. This is my nose. I use my nose to smell. You say it. This is my nose. I use my nose to smell. Tongue. This is my tongue. I use my tongue to taste. You say it. This is my tongue. I use my tongue to taste. Finger. This is my sense of touch. This is my finger. I use my finger to touch. You say it. I use my finger to touch. Very good. You guys are awesome. Okay. So how do your senses help you? Yeah, they can help you see, smell, Notice the things around you. 
there's danger, it can alert you to danger. You might smell the smoke or hear a fire alarm. So our senses are very important. Oftentimes, if one of our senses isn't working well, one of our others will kick in and help the other ones. Um, what do you think is the most amazing sense we've talked about? Tell your friend, tell whoever you're working with. All right. Say it, friends. I say the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and finger. Yes, those are the body parts. Good. In this poem you heard, my sisters are amazing. They keep me safe from harm. Say the word harm with me. Harm. Harm means injury to the body. Some things that are dangerous can cause you harm. A bee may harm because it may sting you. Think about something now that may cause you harm. Okay, I'm gonna say some things if they're harmful. Thumbs up. Not harmful, thumbs down. Touching broken glass. Harmful. Listening to soft music. Riding a bicycle without a helmet. That's harmful. You either fall and hit your head. Um, looking directly at the bright sun. Harmful. Smelling a flower. Not harmful. If you have a different opinion about harmful or not harmful, just make sure that you can explain that different opinion. All right, friends, let's complete the sentence. I can see with my eyes. Got it. I use my to hear. Ears. Good. I can the flowers smell. I like the taste of candy on my, I can feel the fuzzy kitten on my So, we're gonna have action words and think words. So, eyes are a thing and seeing is an action. Action is something you can do, okay? So eyes are a thing, seeing is an action. Hear is an action, ears are a thing. Nose is a thing, take a smell, it's an action. Tongue is a thing, tasted is an action. Hands are a thing, Feeling something is an action. Things that are actions are called verbs. To do it. We're going to do those things and that's our action word. Okay, boys and girls. Here we're going to go. Today, um, I would like you to do a little project for me as your assignment. And what I would like you to do is I'd like you to draw a person. And I would like you to demonstrate your knowledge of the five senses with the parts of the body, okay? So you're gonna get out a piece of paper and you're going to draw a person. And I want you to label each part or each sense on the body, okay? So um, before I leave you, let's name those five senses. All right, so we're gonna draw a body and we're gonna label the five senses. So the first one is sight. My marker's not working. I don't want to see that. 